Up next, kilowatts versus kilowatt hours and power versus energy. What's the difference? Hi, I'm Jonathan Green from Teho, the place where Australians save time and money as they make the switch to renewable energy. Check out our website for more information and subscribe below for more great renewable energy content. Today, we're going to talk about kilowatts versus kilowatt hours and power versus energy. Solar is a classic jargon overload and these two are some of the most common stumbling blocks. But not anymore. Now, if you're getting confused, don't beat yourself up. Even we say the wrong thing sometimes for which we're constantly reminded. We love the accountability though, so keep the comments coming and for the record, we know the difference, but we are guilty of being lazy and saying kilowatt when we should add the hour at the end. You'll come across both a lot, especially when you're looking at a battery for your home or business. Fortunately, the difference is easy. A kilowatt is a measure of power and a kilowatt hour is a measure of energy. I'm guessing you have more questions than answers, which would be fair. So, to break it down properly, starting with a kilowatt. Now, if we look at the actual word, kilo, as a prefix, is derived from a Greek word, kilio, which has been adopted into kilo, as we like to say, meaning 1,000, and thus, a kilowatt is the measure of 1,000 watts. You'll commonly see kilowatts represented as the abbreviation of a small k next to a big W. Then, looking at a kilowatt hour, a kilowatt hour is how many kilowatts is required to run something for an hour. You'll often see it abbreviated as a small k next to a big W followed by a small h. So to put it simply, power is the rate at which energy is generated or used. Energy is the measurement of how much power is required over a period of time. A simple analogy is a small compact globe like this. It needs 20 watts of power to work so it thus require 480 watt hours of energy to run for a day or 3.36 kilowatt hours to run for a week. The mass is 20 watts times 24 hours equals 480 watts, which then can be multiplied by seven to get its weekly energy requirement, which is 3,360 watts or 3.36 kilowatt hours to be simple. When you're reading about something like a solar battery, the amount of power it can push out at any one time for your home to use will be represented in kilowatts. And how long it can do it for will be represented in kilowatt hours. For example, if we're looking at something like a Tesla Powerwall 2, it has 13.5 kilowatt hours of usable capacity and can discharge at a maximum of five kilowatts. That means it can push out up to five kilowatts at any one moment, which is pretty huge. And it can maintain that load for over two and a half hours. Hopefully that has cleared everything up. So you now know the differences between kilowatts and kilowatt hours and power versus energy. If you're interested in solar or a battery for your home or business, reach out to Teho today. Give us a call on one 229292 or check out our website at www.teho.com.au. I'm Jonathan Green from Teho. Thanks for watching.